so we'll see how he does against this beach. A lot of spacing, you know, on both sides, so both uh, both players have to really consider each other's spacing in this matchup. Right on. So right away we have a final D. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure why a pack combo. Like decide not to ban this. This is a good place for Mark to play around. It's like a sandbox for him, so um, I'm guessing he has his reasons. Maybe they're emotional. I'm not sure. But uh, what Pat likes to do, he likes to throw a lot of a lot of uh, turnips around, trying to create some sort of like uh, I don't know, distractions for the other player. But um, it doesn't seem like Jim's falling for it, and uh, Jim's has some momentum right now. But when these two with these two characters, it's tough to see who is really going to win the stock. Because both characters do so much damage and uh, for sake of the combos. So it's anybody's game, even if Peach is down right now. But uh, Gem. Gem looking really good, and uh, yeah. Uh, what, what, what Pat Combo has to like, understand, he has to start considering the range of that, of that Mark Sword. He's, uh, he took a huge risk being that, that close to him, even if he's on top. But we'll see how what uh, Pat Combo has. What kind of answer he has for this stuff? Gem is looking looking really good right now. He's, he's not, I'm sure he's not worried about um, too much right now. Just gonna keep this stock as long as possible, add some extra damage, and uh, keep working this game since he is in final D. Uh, I'm again, I'm very confused. Maybe there's somebody out there who can tell me why uh, Pat Combo didn't ban this place. Maybe because he won. Maybe the floating. Uh, he likes to float a lot, so maybe that gives him more range feels more comfortable with best platforms or whatever it is uh, whatever it is uh, gem I guess doesn't seem to mind that combo looking good though he's just uh, he's delivering some really good stuff here against gem I want to see what gem has uh, what kind of answer he has for him. Yeah. Jim really has to, um, I mean, not necessarily, there you go, yeah, Jim needs to forward smash, <laughs> forward smash this bitch, um, that, oh, again, he could have done something there, a little more effective, I'm not sure how much uh, peach experience Jim has, but this would be a good, uh, a good crash course, nice, and also for Pat. I mean, Pat, I'm sure he's played uh, Gem and he's played plenty of Mars in this tournament. There's a few Mars here in this tournament today. Um, but. I'm uh, not looking. Well, no one's looking really bad right now. This is anybody's game. I and mean, that down smash, I was wondering when Pat's in. I think that's the very first down smash of the game. So that DR is, I'm guessing, very low. So that's a killer. Good job for Pat. You know, saving that down smash. I suggest he spams the shit out of that down smash. <laughs> but he has, his, uh, he has his own style playing. And yeah, this is what he does too. He just throws a lot of turnips on the edge. Turn up sweet spot it. I'm not sure how crazy effective it, it is since he has to like run back to the edge and the edge guard. But I guess he's had some positive experiences with it. He has to kill. Yeah, man. Pat combo is looking really good now. And again, this this is where uh, maybe Gem is lacking in a lot of Peach matchups. And I kind of, like I said before, I don't want to say saw it coming, but I, I got a little worried. Jem does amazing on like the, the matchups he's really used to against really great players. I just haven't seen him play Peach, so he has to kind of figure it out right now. Um, right now, uh, Jem playing really defensive, which is I mean he's smart right now because he can't really approach right now. It's not a good smart time to approach Peach at this percentage. And right now, uh, Pat Combo just kind of winning it out, down smash. Great job. And, uh, and I don't know if you guys have seen his screen, Pat Combo likes to get really close to the screen. I can't, you could barely see his face. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's, it's insane. Uh, really focused, this guy really likes to see all the details, I guess, of the game. And uh, I'm guessing because uh, of his turn up game. But we'll see, maybe he changed that up later on. But he's looking good though, looking very comfortable. Uh, Jem needs an answer right now because the way I'm looking at it is uh, Pat Combo's controlling this matchup and he's not gonna let go. So I just the momentum is in Pat's side and it's not moving anywhere. Well, there we go. Here's some. There's uh, the answer I've been looking for for Jem. This is the time for Jem to actually come in and do some real damage and don't and not like Pat Combo uh, finish up the game the way it started. There he goes down smash. Good job. For Pat.
that combo. There you go, Jim. Jim, Jim is doing a good job now. Just approaching, but not like blindly. There you go. Something like that. Oh, in those turnups, I'm telling you, that combo. He's doing a he's doing a good job with those turnups. I think that's something he's really focused on. Seeing it as a project an effective projectile for Peach. Uh, I think he's focusing a little bit too much on it right now, um, but he doesn't, he's using it as distraction. I don't think that's a good idea right now. Bad combo. But hey, there you go. I suggest you just kill Mark right now. Enough for play. Good job, Pat Combo. So that first match goes to Pat Combo. Like I said, Jem needs to do something about this speech. Um, I'm not sure, like I said, how many Peach players he plays. I'm not sure how, you know, if he knows the matchup very well. But um, even Pat Combo's speech is a little awkward. He likes to keep his distance sometimes because of his turnips. Pokemon Stadium. Uh, a lot of places where Mark could actually force Smash Peach. There's a lot of distractions, so the floating element of Peach's game is going to be kind of limited. So for now, um, Gem is kind of. I think he's just looking for. He's trying to see the advantages of the stage right now. And I think there are many advantages for Mark here. Uh, but it seems like Pat Combo has mad coverage with that Peach. He's kind of seeing the advantages of Peach here. I'm, I'm happy that he is actually, because he's getting better and better every time I see him. So, especially with a caliber player like Jem right now. Jem got really high last week on the tournament, and, you know, I don't want to see him lose now, but I don't know. He has, he has, I haven't seen an answer yet. His game is consistent, but it's consistently the same. He needs to change something. And uh, Pat Combo, he's not doing anything wrong, so he's going to keep doing it. Keep doing what he's doing. Uh, using the turnups as distractions. It's, it's, it's hard for Gem, I guess, to see an opening. And if he does, it's a very small window. And it's, uh, it's because Pat's turnups are in the way. And while they're in the air, she's, uh, uh, Pat's also looking for a combo or looking for an attack to hit him with. And right now, maybe that's the answer. You know, Gem uh, evading, retreating, and then attacking. With Peach, I don't think he should be approaching. You know, that's a very dangerous game you want to play. And, you want to keep your distance, keep your spacing solid, and just kind of tap away at Peach, and then when you have those certain combos, nail it and execute it right there, right there. That's exactly what Jim needs to do. Just focus on those chains and not worry about everything else, you know? It's a bunch of show, it's a bunch of bullshit, so just keep his distance and let Peach do whatever she does without getting hurt. There you go. And hopefully Jim kind of gets the rhythm of this, uh, this game. Because this is the last game and he can't lose this one. He has to play like uh, he wants the next one. Right now, Pat actually approaching a little more aggressively. Maybe he's uh, changing it up for Jem or something. Trying to lure him in and then back to his regular spacing. Go back to his uh, extreme game. It's so funny. Because, it, I don't know. Uh, these games are so... They don't take they don't take so too long, you know, in real time. But when you're watching them and when you're commentating, when you're playing, it's just it seems like such a long time. Each stock. All right, good job. And Jim, you know, seeing the, the, the this force match has been executing well. They've been landing, they've been hitting. It's just um, getting to that point, getting that getting to the point of actually force smashing and getting that damage has been tough for Jim. But he's up right now. He's looking good. So. I guess now Pat has to adapt to Jim. And this is what we're talking about with the turnips. And there he is. Fucking tough. Pat combo. Any taunts. Now you see, if you look at the screen, uh, Pat combo is going back and forth. Does it to put his face on the screen or to back up a little bit? I'm not sure. <laughs> but it's so funny to me watching it. Jim, Jim should just relax. You know, but he is up, so I think he just wants to kill this peach right away. Just get get to the other side as fast as possible. Which could be dangerous because I think he just slowed down slightly. Just not pushed. There it is. Hey, what am I talking about? Jim's playing a good game match. Almost in the mid, I guess. <laughs> there it is. Now I'm not Pat Combo's being really aggressive because he, he's down, and I think that's what Jim wants. Jim wants uh, start coming towards him so he doesn't have to work as hard and uh, kind of see what's up with that. see what he has to do. Yeah, Pat Combo's being really aggressive this time around. Uh, I 
You can see Alan, he also sees that he wants to finish his match, he doesn't want to go to round three. Golly, that's a good job for Pat. Pat closing the closing the stocks and uh, this is anybody's game at this point. It's all about I guess uh, nailing your your fast falls and making sure uh, you don't get too. I don't know. People tend to break down towards the last stock. They start doing some weird shit, some weird dumb stuff they'll never ever do in games or in friendlies. And I guess it's me trying to avoid. Here you go, Gem, just tapping away. And, uh, all he has to do really is any sword smash, maybe up tilt, up there in the that tree. Pat Combo being patient, because he could do anything right here and now too, but it just doesn't look very good for Pat Combo. I don't think he's gonna win this matchup personally, but who knows, you know? With this game, Jim could suicide, I don't know. I love the stage because it transforms, it changes. Your attacks are like doing weird stuff. You know, certain combos are, are possible when the, when the stage shifts. And it's looking like it's going to be an even match now. Yeah, up to. So good pick for Jim. Picking, uh, picking back, uh, Pokemon Stadium. All the elements that made the other match work for Pat did not work for him this time. So we'll see what Pat decides to do. And also to see what Jim bans. Dreamland, makes sense. Peach lives forever in this stage, so... We'll see what happens between both of them. And right now, both of them are playing very aggressively. Uh, going right at it, you know. <laughs> Uh, maybe for many reasons, maybe they're just trying to kind of establish some sort of momentum between both of them. But the thing is, Jem, he feels a little more comfortable you know, when Pat combo comes towards him. I don't know if Pat knows that yet, but maybe he'll shift it within the next two stocks. Maybe he some spacing. But it seems like Jem is getting the hang of it. And, uh, that's what Jem does too. He does really well. He, does, he never plays the other player's game. Well, he does, but you know, but he, he kind of forces forces himself not to. So right now he's doing something to make Pat approach him, because Pat was doing a great job just not approaching and just keeping the space. But sometimes uh, Pat really can be aggressive and be successful. We'll see. We'll see what Pat ultimately finds more. He missed that grab, man. That grab was so critical. You know, at this point, he could have used a grab and then uh, some little more damage and stay alive a little longer. So, hey, whatever he's doing now, it's working perfectly fine in gym. Doing his shit. Was that uh, Happy Gilmore? Fuck, oh, I forgot. <laughs> feeling, feeling the flow, working it, working it, something like that. I'm not sure. I'm a big Happy Gilmore fan. Just tap it away. Give a little tap it. Tap, 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 roof. Get that ball in the hole. He's, that's what he's doing. Jem's been doing a great job right now. Uh, Pat has a real, no real answer right now. He, one, Jem is not letting Pat really kind of establish his feet or anything. Uh, and Pat is super focused right now. The thing is, he needs to like control the momentum here by just getting some better space. What an awesome edge, edge guard for my Pat. Jim, Jim, standing up like a fucking tower. Confidence. Good job. I think Jim should go out there. There you go. Get him. See, now we're seeing the similar piece from the first game now with Pat. Kind of throwing turnips and kind of controlling the pace of the game with the turnips. Look at this Jim. Looking like a rabbit. Marth. There you go, that's what Jem needs him. Jem needs him to stay there. Grabbed it. Grab him, Jem. Come on. You got him. Um, so. Ah, oh, he missed two grabs in rows. That sucks, because. And again, I don't know why Pat doesn't punch that with the down smash. You know, uh, he's not a big. Uh, he doesn't like the down smash, apparently. Uh, but it could be super effective right now. For him. And oh, shit. There it is. Damn it. That's what happens. And then, uh. There it is. So, again, goes to Jim. 